Hi. Well, I'm not really sure on how to start a reworking video. This is the first one I've done. Uh, but I say I'm just going to go ahead and get started on the project. But the project I'm going to do tonight is going to be just a small keychain holder. You know, just a little keychain. But we'll get started with that, and I've got a few things to say at the end of the video. Now what I've got here, I'm using a piece of wood called whitewood. I picked it up at Home Depot. It's about four dollars for an eight foot sheet or eight foot board uh, it is three and a half and I cut this down to ten inches for the keychain holder and now I'm just gonna take and round over these edges and come up with an idea for the top so basically what I'm gonna do to round over these edges I'm just gonna take some sort of a can that's got a round base and just take and make a circle line on both ends I'm going to see how much of this knot I can get off of here. But just make those lines, and then I'll take it over to the scroll saw and cut them out. I've rounded over my edges. I'm not sure I like the knot though, but now I'm going to do is find me a center line to put all the little hooks for the key change, and then think of something to put on top of it. I'm thinking home sweet home, but I'm not sure yet. So what I'll go ahead and do first, so find my center for the point for this. I'm thinking uh, two inches will be good enough. Give me some space on top. So mark all these at two inches. I'm going to take the straight edge and make my line. And then I can just come up with and see how far I want for every hook to go, and we'll go from there. Well, I'm at the scroll saw now, but having problems coming up with a, something to make up here. I figure I can take something, maybe just draw, draw out some type of design, maybe. And keep going. I need to measure and get the midpoint so I know where to stop. And then when I cut out one side, I can trace it and use it for the other to make them identical. Now, this is 10 inches, so 5 will be my center. And I could come out from my file there and come down and just come up with something that might work or change a little bit and I can go back and add things here but I'll cut this out and then see what comes up I'm going to begin to cut this out and I guess we'll, we'll see what happens I've got it cut out, now I can take this and lay it over and trace it and have my plan for the other side. I was looking at this after I cut it out and I'm not sure I like these flared edges like this. So I went back and made a little line that kind of stair steps the waves down into it. I'll cut it out and see what happens and maybe copy to the other side. Well, I got it cut out and I thought about adding something in here but I decided not to. But the pieces I cut off on the end, they sort of remind me of little birds. Maybe if you were to take and make an eye, it looks like a bird. No, I'm off topic, but I eh, thought it was cool. But now, I'll go down, I'll pre-drill a few little holes for the uh, hooks, and I'll right over the edge and stain it, and then I'll show you what happens. I'm at the drill press now. I'll go ahead and I'm just going to drill just a little ways down, maybe a force down, just enough so I can get those eyelets started a little bit easier. And I'll take it over to the sander and sand this down and maybe do a little sanding on the top here and get ready for stain. Okay, I'm over at the router now. May not have the best camera angle in the world, but eh, I think it'll do pretty good. And I'm going to lift up the guard, but I'm wearing safety goggles, so don't worry. Go ahead and get this started here and see about rounding over some edges. Now what I'll do is, 
this, I'll go back to the table and take some sandpaper and clean up on these edges. We made it back to the workbench with this. I'm just going to use this sanding block to kind of clean up a few of these little edges. Make it look a little nicer. It's one thing I love about round over bits. I give it some of an antique fashion look to me. I don't know about y'all. Sand over the top. Over a few of these edges. Make it look pretty. Alright, now it's ready to be stained and lacquered and has a hook spoon in it. And if anybody has any ideas, could you please send them to me about how to hang these? I've used a keyhole bit and stuff before, but I don't really like the way it hangs them. So, just go find my Facebook page and just see if you can't maybe help me figure something out on there and post your ideas you have up there. Okay, well... It's going to take a while for the stain and stuff to dry, and then I still got a lacquer, but I'll show you one I made a few days ago. It's a little different. It just says Home Sweet Home on it, but it's the same principle about with the staining and lacquering. And then you put the hooks in, and then you've got a hanger. And I still have the same problem with figuring out a way to hang it. I haven't figured that out yet. But give me some ideas. Thank you. I have a Facebook page. It's called Kebs Woodworking. C-E-B-S Woodworking. Or I can go to it and ask to join the group. You probably can burn me. But if you have any ideas or things that can help me with the videos or things that can help me with woodworking, please uh, don't hesitate to comment. And I'd like to give out a few people who inspired me to do woodworking videos and who got me interested in the scroll saw. But you might check out a guy named Steve. He's got a YouTube channel called Woodworking for Mere Mortals. He's the one who inspired me to do videos and the teen woodworker he also really inspired me to do videos now the person who inspired me to work on the scroll saw his name was steve good he's over at the scroll saw workshop you might check him out too all really great videos but thanks for watching i'll see you about maybe make another video next weekend